Ladies and gentlemen, 90% of turnarounds fail to meet business and turnaround goals. 80% of turnarounds experience cost overruns of 10% to 40%. 50% of turnarounds experience schedule slippages. And 90% of post-turnarounds recommendations are never implemented. Now, what does this mean to asset owners? Maintenance costs must be reduced without compromising on quality and on safety. Production downtime must be kept to an absolute minimum. Turnaround projects must be completed on time and on budget. People need a quick solution. Now, for this, a paradigm shift and a new tool is needed and required to actually deliver quality ahead of schedules. Hence, Server Dynamic is taking the initiative to digitally transform and engage in a special partnership with Microsoft to embark on a historical digital journey to drive productivity, innovation, and cost effectiveness through digital capabilities such as artificial intelligence and mixed reality using the Microsoft HoloLens and Microsoft Azure platforms. The Microsoft HoloLens is a fully self-contained, wearable, holographic computer that enables you to interact with your digital content. And the, micro and the Azure Cloud, actually, with it you are able to transport all the data gathered to make analytics and decisions in real time and in an agile manner. With the HoloLens, it enables you to perform maintenance and the turnaround process to be done so much faster, better, and leave you, the asset owners, much happier. Today, we are very excited to share with you and have you witness a simple visualization of the potential carried by artificial intelligence combined with mixed reality being made possible by the usage of Microsoft Azure and the HoloLens. And with that, I would like to welcome to the stage my colleagues Akhil and Azlina, who will help you visualize the potential of mixed reality in maintenance management and plant turnaround solutions. Akhil, Azlina. Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, when we decided to embark on our historical digital journey, we engaged the uh, Microsoft uh, Digital Advisory Services. And then, uh, for the past few months, we've have been having some uh, a lot of research and exploration with our Microsoft Digital Advisors on what would be the uh, key areas that would benefit the most in the, our nature of business. So after some, uh, for, by using Microsoft HoloLens and the Microsoft uh, Azure platforms. So after some research and exploration on many avenues, we found that uh, there would be two key areas that would benefit the most by using the Microsoft HoloLens and also the Microsoft Azure platforms. So the first area would be definitely the plant turnaround and maintenance. And the second area would be uh, education and training. So if you see the stage right now, apart from me and my colleague Aslina, it's empty, okay? But we are able to see things because we are wearing the Microsoft HoloLens. <laughs> yeah, it's not a safety glass. This is the Microsoft HoloLens. <laughs> but do not worry, because by the help of a special camera that's installed in the back of this hall, you will be able to experience it together with us. Right, uh, Azelina? Yes. Yeah, so what we will showcase is uh, two scenarios. One would be a typical example on the, how maintenance could be done using the HoloLens and also the Microsoft Azure platforms. And then later we will showcase another scenario, how easy training could be if you're using Microsoft HoloLens and also the Microsoft uh, Azure platforms. So let's get started.
Uh, Azelina. Yes. We have a situation with one of our plants in Trangano, Malaysia. Ah. All right. So, uh, it's reported that uh, one of our equipment, TCP053, is having some abnormalities with its operating pressure. Shall we take a look? Okay, yeah, let's go to Trangano. Ah, I can see, yes, the red turbine, right? That's the one with the problem? Yeah, that's the equipment. Let's open it up. Ooh, okay. Oh, it says here there is a significant drop in pressure in this turbine. Yeah, I could see that in this multi-display control panel over there. Well, I think we need to check some components. Uh, I think we need to check out the rotor. Let okay. me take it out. Huh. Yeah, it could be due to some blade deposits on these rotor blades over here. Or it could be due to a leak in this control valve. I think we need to check these components, uh, Lina. Yeah, I think we should actually call our technical specialist in Qatar. Maybe he can review the situation and he can tell us what is wrong with this. Um, yeah, I agree. That's a good idea. Let's give him a call. Hi, Peter. hi, Peter. Hello. Look, we got a situation in one of our equipments in the Trangano plant. Uh, the operating pressure is decreasing. Can you take a quick look and see what is possibly wrong? Hi, Akil and Azlina. Hey. Yeah. It seems that we have quite a situation over here. Let me check the operating parameters and some historians. Okay. Great. Well, there is indeed a pressure drop, but it's not sudden. It's decreasing gradually, and looking onto these data we see here, I'm pretty much sure there are some serious blade deposits. Okay. You would need to schedule an overhaul for her. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Peter. That was really fast and uh, very, very helpful. You yeah. know, Zina, I think we need to schedule a maintenance for her. I think it's time to give her a cleanup. Yes, let's give her a cleanup. Um, how do we schedule that? Yeah, okay. I think we need to also consider our production. So I think it's better let the system figure it out because ah. using the uh, Microsoft Azure platform, you can easily do it. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I think we're all scheduled and the problem is solved now. We can take a break now. That was very quick. Yeah, that was very quick and uh, solved. Let's take a break. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Akhil and Azlina. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting more and more connected to each other. And this connectivity has plenty of potential for new improvements and accomplishments like never before. Now, these tools will surely transform to make your life better and as a game changer in plant maintenance and turnarounds. We have seen the amazing impact of Industrial Revolution 4.0 in the past several years. People have been able to extend the work beyond the desk to fabrication yard, to process plants, or to the manufacturing floor by means of cloud computing and artificial intelligence. However, Bringing the digital content into the actual plant or service centers has always been difficult. Now, this is what we call a mixed reality, where the virtual and the real world are combined in an interactive manner. As much as it is important for maintenance and turnaround process, it is also significant to the training and education sector specifically for plants with many equipment or very, very complex and difficult to access equipment. For example, steam turbines or gas compressors. Now, having a real training on how to conduct an overhaul on a steam turbine is almost impossible unless a real overhaul is done. And not many learning centers can actually afford to have a real turbine or gas compressors in their workshops, as of course, it's incredibly expensive, nor can they tolerate a breakdown or perform an overhaul just for the purpose of training. And I'm sure 
The last thing that many of us here in this room would want is to have an equipment breakdown or to actually perform an overhaul or even the extension of the number of days in an overhaul just so that our workers can get the exposure. But ladies and gentlemen, with the Microsoft HoloLens, learners can experience training with the real equipment at scale with their existing troubleshooting and maintenance tools. Companies need the ability and flexibility to train their employees at a lower cost and, of course, with high quality results. And the learners need enhanced learning environment, which enables them to blend into their normal workday experiences. Now, once again, my colleague Akhil and Azlina will demonstrate to you how such trainings for an overhaul for a steam turbine can be easily conducted using the Microsoft HoloLens. Okay, Azlina. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on stage again. But this time, we're going to show you how easy training could be done for very complex equipment like a steam turbine. Just anyone can learn it by themselves or they can have a trainer like me to facilitate them over the training. So I'm going to train my colleague Azlina how to do an uh, overhaul for a steam turbine. Are you ready, Azlina? Yes, I am ready How to learn how to overhaul the steam turbine. Okay. So where do we start? Okay, we should start first with opening the top casing. Okay. okay we need to open the top casing and few equipment. Would you like to see how it's done, as Yes, yes, please. All screws on the top are removed, freeing the rotor casing, DE, and the NDE. The top rotor casing is detached from the steam turbine. The pump is dismantled from the steam turbine. The DE bearing housing is separated from the steam turbine. The NDE bearing housing is disconnected from the steam turbine. The inner bearing, including the journal bearing, thrust bearing, oil seal, labyrinth seal, special spacer carbon ring, and the carbon packing is removed. The rotor shaft is exposed and is free to be transported. So, when we remove all the top casings, mm -hmm. the rotor is exposed like this. Yeah. And now we are ready for the next step. Uh, I have a question. Um, two questions, actually. First mm -hmm. of all, is this the actual scale of the thing? This is the size. Yes, this is the actual exact size of this single stage turbine. Great. Uh, number two, uh, what are, why are there two blades over here? Okay, the first one over here is called the stator. Mm -hmm. It's where it, it guides the steam entering into the turbine uh. so that it hits the rotor, the other blades at the right angle. Then it will turn this rotor and okay. then in return it will turn this shaft. Okay. So we have the stator and the rotor blades. All right, so those are the two blades. Okay. Exactly. All right, and now that we have the shaft open, what yeah. is the next step? Well, the next step is we need to remove the shaft and bring it over to the balancing room to do the ba shaft balancing. Okay, uh, do we get to go to the balancing room? Well, if you want, I could take you there. Would you uh, like to go? Yes, yes, please. Okay, one more. Would you guys like to go to the balancing room as well? <laughs> the rotor is lifted by the crane and is transported towards the balancing room. Look, Azlina, while the crane is lifting this uh, rotor, do not walk underneath. There's a yellow box. That's the safety area, please. Okay. While the crane is operation, do not walk there, okay? Okay, I'll stay away from the The crane yellow lowers box. the rotor onto the balancing machine. The rotor is locked at both ends and the balancing test begins. So now we are inside the balancing room. Please do not cross over. You see this yellow line, do not cross over. That's the safety barrier. Okay. And you can see how balancing is done, Azlina. Okay, wow. So that that's pretty much it, right? Yeah, those are the first two initial steps on how to do an overhaul for a steam turbine. Okay, great. Was it easy? Yeah, so I learned that the first step is to take off the cover. And then the next one is to bring it to the balancing room for the balancing to happen. 
Exactly, yeah. perfect. You're already, you're already a master. <laughs> that was really easy because I got to see the actual thing and walk around it. So that was really very clear for me. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Akil. <laughs> Welcome. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was just a demonstration how easy training could be for just anyone. With Microsoft HoloLens, you could do a training just anywhere, in your service center, in a classroom, your learning room, or even at your own bedroom. <laughs> you could bring it anywhere. You see, this is the <laughs> paradigm shift in education that we are talking, you know. So with Microsoft HoloLens now, education is possible anytime, anywhere. Thank you. Thank you.